goal is to benefit the whole society. There are, there are three major advantages. Um, first, scenario-based prototyping, like double eleven online shopping event. Um, Jima Credit divides a credit rating system, which helps the company realize credit equals wealth. And powerful technologies bring various benefits to the company. That is why they see themselves as tech fit instead of, instead of fintech. Apart from what they have succeed, they turn their attention to rural market and overseas. Um, its rural strategy includes products like rural Taobao, Wanlu Credit, and Wanlu Pay. Also, it made, it made use of supply chain finance to connect enterprises and farmers to go beyond China and financial provide uh, Chinese consumers with more scenarios abroad. And um, it replicates the success in foreign countries through investment and partnership. Considering of domestic and overseas challenge and opportunity and financial um, still has a long way to go. Okay, yeah, thank you. And uh, next group. Yes, it's okay now. This is group 19. Uh, I, I will go, I'm going to explain the following terms. The first one, network, network effects. The network effect is a phenomenon whereby increased numbers of people or participants improve the value of a good or service. For example, and financial is data driven. If more users participated in, the platform can collect more targeted data so that they can provide better products and services to users. And financial is most all open of all financial institutions. The purpose of opening is also to expand the next world, next net network. The larger the network, the greater the value and the higher the user stickness. The second one is Network bridging. Network bridging in this case study means that and financial can use technology as a bridge to connect groups that be overlooked by traditional banks with financial services. For example, and financial provides loan services to small and uh, medium sized enterprises that are difficult to get help in traditional banks through a credit mechanism without human intervention. Another example is that and financial provide inclusive financial services in remote rural areas according to their rural strategies. The next term is multi-homing. Um, it means that if the platform is not exclusive, then buyers and sellers will have the opportunity to choose to establish connections with more than two platforms at the same time, thereby leading to a multi-homing problem. For example, WeChat Pay provides a 
payment service similar to Alipay. So users can choose to use WeChat payment or Alipay so that the stateness of a product for customer will be lower. Okay, good. Yeah, thank you. Just pausing here for a few minutes. Now, yeah, in fact, the network effect, right? Okay, well explained by the group, right? Now, that's why in here, I want you to think more about the data ownership I mentioned to you earlier, okay? Now, the network effect is so powerful in uh, China and some other uh, developing country, as they earlier mentioned, is because um, the a lot of the existing regulation and institution for the underserved people or the unbanked population, it's not well established. So that's why a lot of the people, you know, when they use the goods and service, they create a lot of data, especially the transaction data. When the transaction data are created there, as I said, the data ownership is not clearly defined in those places then that's why the operator like Alipay, WeChat Pay, the payment operator or the e-commerce operator, they take advantage of this, right? Because the ownership is not well defined and it seems that I have the database, I have the data here. Then gradually they take well use of that, okay? So they're very smart in, in using it, okay? But in the developed country, then normally it's not that easy because there's already a lot of, um, Restriction like copyright, data privacy, electronic uh, data, uh, electronic transaction ordinance. There's many ordinance to govern the use and the transfer of those data. Okay, so that's why it's not easy. But however, because there's no regulation, it allows. Okay, that's why, like in China or like in Africa, and Pisa in Africa, Alipay, which I pay in China, to jump ahead of the Western country, right? Because they could well use those data to build basically a thin life, a financial life linked with all these advanced technology. Even think about 5Gs is coming. So even they integrate the whole finance technology model intertwined together to provide their daily living. 